So I have to say this, there's definitely a varying of opinions when it comes to Shiba Inu. Some people have really high expectations talking about dollars, and there are some people that expect Shiba Inu is going to fall on its face and, and fade away and do nothing, right? And I end up in the middle of here, okay? I, I think SHIB is going to do extremely well this cycle. I believe it's going to be uh, cemented as a top 10 asset. I believe it's going to rival the top five by the end of the cycle. As always, this is not a guarantee or financial advice or anything like that. But what I have to say is this, is nobody knows what is going to happen with SHIB price. Nobody knows where the excitement is going to be this cycle. All we can look at is what has taken place, right? Obviously a good a good representation of this is there's 13 financial experts that were actually forecasting these moves when it comes to Shiba Inu. When, when is SHIB going to do this 400% move? What heights is SHIB going to reach? And it just shows you that even the experts have no idea where price is headed. So this was actually taken while SHIB was at 509, and what they were, were actually expecting was a move to 401 by the end of this year. Go figure, we we exceeded that by over 74% even at the time of, of filming this video, right? Furthermore, they projected that SHIB could trade at 4025 by 2025 and 4045 by 2030. So these are all ranges that the experts were talking about that we already crushed in the early part of the bull market cycle, that time where that typically does not happen. All right. And I think a lot of people forget this, right? They'll look at, you know, where Bitcoin's at and they'll think that we should be higher in price. Guys, we're just starting alt season. Alt season is when assets go on to typically set new all-time highs. This is where things begin to, to go full vertical. We we had that with SHIB, right, in the price charts, but this isn't this isn't the time where it normally does it. All right, people really need to understand that. SHIB made a move that was out of the ordinary. The market made a move that was out of the ordinary. We saw a lot of new fresh capital hitting the space that typically doesn't happen at this time. Now, there's something exciting about that I'll get to in just a moment here. So right now, this is what uh, 30 specialists were actually recommending when it comes to SHIB. Now, 30% were recommending sell, 50% recommending hold, 20% recommending buy. So you have 70% 70 70 of people with optics on SHIB that are on the positive side. And this is a drastic change from what we saw during the bear market cycle. Times where people were like, oh, it's done, it's over, we're, we're never going back, right? And we've seen what SHIB has done. Now, this is where things get interesting. And this is this is the point I really want to hit home for people. We're, we haven't seen a lot of fresh capital hit the space. March was a huge surge for that. And you guys can see that during that time, SHIB actually climbed about $21.4 billion in market cap. That's a very strong surge in a very short period of time. And what we saw for SHIB specifically was somewhere between two to $4 billion flow in using the 10 to 20% 10 to ratio for liquidity, all right? During that same time, the market actually surged by $361 billion in terms of market cap. So you're talking probably three to three to $6 billion in terms of actual, or 30 to $60 billion, wow, I can't talk in actual liquidity entering the market. So that means that SHIB actually made up about 6% of this new capital actually flowing into the market. Some people think that SHIB just was moving along with everything else. No, SHIB was hit with new capital in a huge way. And this is a testament to those optics that we talk about outside the space. It was one of the highest inflow assets at the time where new money was flowing in. It has some of the highest optics throughout the world. Don't be fooled by the stuff in between, right? Obviously, SHIB has been through going through some consolidation here, and now we're doing a little sideways trading. That's completely normal at this time in the market cycle. You saw huge inflow of money. You saw people take profits. You've seen people pull money and keep it on the sidelines. That's why we're seeing you know exchange reserves uh, in terms of US dollars begin to climb, right? But SHIB when the market is flowing, when there is new people entering the space, it does exceptionally well. We're gearing up for this time where that is going to begin again. This little tease that we got in March, this happens in a much bigger way as we get into the back half of this year, as we get into 2025. When we get to the year following the halving, that is when you have the highest levels of adoption, the highest levels of inflow. There are more, there's more adoption that takes place in the last six months of a market cycle than the first year and a half of the bull market before that. Think about that. Those are the times that we're heading towards. So yes, I believe SHIB is gonna to continue to do well. Yes, I believe this was a little little indicator of what we're gonna see as this cycle goes on. All right, are there some coins that are gonna move faster? Sure, there are. There are some meme coin up and comers that have done extremely well. 
but they haven't gained near the type of capital that SHIB has in a very short period of time. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.